Hello everyone. So I'm building my own cloud. I need to give a massive shout out to Synology. They sent over a lot of a lot of stuff. And I get these offers a lot, but usually it's from like companies that want to send me their like sit stand desks or their chairs and stuff like that. It just stuff that I feel like is such a waste of your attention, of my time. But Synology, if you're not familiar, it, it with like the self-hosted world and NAS and things like that, they're a big name in that space. So then I took a look at their catalog and I was like, all right, would you send me this, 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 and this? And they were like, sure. And I was like, cool. Uh, so this is a DS923 plus, you can see it here. At the moment I have two four terabyte gigs in there, which they also sent over, shout out Synology once again. And then I have for cash, uh, two 800 salt seat drives, those go on the bottom. They also sent over the 10 gig um, network module that I have yet to play around with. And yeah, so again, this is like my own mini cloud right here. So yeah, that's the hardware that they sent over. So I spent yesterday just setting up my basics firewall, make sure I have the proper SSH access, lock everything down. I actually have the firewall settings UI thingy open here. It's pretty easy to work with. And I haven't done infrastructure stuff like this, like classic infrastructure stuff like this in years. And it was so fun to like dive into it again. You can see I have that like deny all rule at the bottom, which pretty much is everything except the other things that I've listed above. I have to lock down this 8,000, 9,000 port further. I was just uh, playing around with that to make sure I can have port tainer. Port tainer is a little package that uh, it's awesome. It likes lets you manage all things container deployed onto your Synology. And I think it's way better than the default container manager that Synology comes with. And then I have a couple other uh, things that lock down access to my Synology pretty much to my subnet level. I think, yeah. I'm going to revisit these today now because I, I was a little rough at the beginning. I was like, oh, how much should I lock this down like what what do I actually need and now then I kind of got it's like riding a bike like kind of remember I'm like oh, okay now I understand now I understand what I need to so I'll probably lock it down even further I also spent time configuring external access yesterday so I just have a DDNS server now and I don't need to log in via IP I could just use that domain name there as well and yeah it's been great I also have like SSH access you can see here I'm SSH'd into my uh, NAS itself and then I have already a container deployed, Debian container deployed to the NAS and I can SSH into that as well. So yeah, it's been, it's been so much fun playing around with this stuff. I missed it. And the first thing I'm going to definitely do is set up something CICD related. So whether it be like building my own CICD from scratch or deploying something like a GitHub Actions uh, runner locally on this. And then just have a bunch of projects that rely on the, my little self-hosted server here uh, for it. But I obviously want to do the classic things like media servers and and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, this, this shout out Synology. This is just the beginning. I have like so many ideas. I wanted to kind of get this like first setup video out going. It was also surprisingly so easy to set up. Like they, I love how they have made just like the self-hosted space for us enthusiasts really accessible in terms of like you kind of pick and choose what you need and you know you can buy it obviously it's not like the cheapest stuff out there like i'm sure you could get a raspberry pi and learn just this much uh, but definitely a level higher than a raspberry pi would be this kind of stuff but I, I just had so much fun just manually piecing stuff together that's the thing about the cloud, like it's all abstracted, it's all clicks and code and stuff like that, which is great, but also you kind of just miss putting stuff together. <laughs> Make sure to like, sub, and everything, and if you're interested in this kind of journey that I'm going on, <laughs> stay, stay tuned. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.